Hey everyone, welcome back. Oh wait, this is the first video. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video is your very first video on C programming. Now before we dive into the depths of C programming, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Onyx, who is going to continually broadcast his message of water drinking. He's doing it right now. Did you hear that? <laughs> And now that we are done with that glorious introduction, let's get started. C is an example of a programming language. In order for us to fully grasp what a programming language is, we need to understand a couple things. First, as humans, we want to communicate with computers. The problem is though, is that a computer, it only understands what's called machine code, which is basically sequences of ones and zeros. We could communicate to a computer using machine code, but we're going to have long, huge sequences of ones and zeros, and it's going to be very error prone. Because it's so complicated writing in machine code, smart people invented programming languages that allow us to communicate to the computer without having to type something like this. A programming language is readable to a human once you learn that language, and it's not nearly as complex as something like this. So us humans, we learn the programming language and then the programming language converts whatever we put into that into machine code. You can think of the machine code as individual commands that we tell the computer's processor. So inside of the computer, there's this little processor and all of these ones and zeros translate into commands for this processor. Programming languages make it easier for humans to tell computers what to do. So everything on the computer, whether it be Windows or Mac or applications such as Google Chrome or any other kind of applications, they're all built or created with some kind of programming language. One of the first and most popular programming languages even today is the C programming language. Now, if all this illustration is too complex, I can make it simpler. Here's the computer, here's us, and we can tell the computer what to do using the C programming language. What the computer does with the C programming language, when we're starting out, we don't really care about all that. All we care about is the fact that we can tell the computer what to do. That means we don't even have to worry about all that machine code and all that stuff. You could say that stuff is abstracted away. When something is abstracted away, it means it's hidden from us. Sort of how when you drive a car, you don't need to know how the car is built or how everything works. All you need to know is how to use the car. Same with communicating with computers. We don't need to know all the intricate details right yet. All we need to know is C programming or some other kind of programming language. As you can see, I wrote this up on the board, but don't worry about what it says for right now. All we need to know is that this is something we will learn to type. This is the language we are going to learn to speak. And all we have to do to do this is open a text document and type it out. It's very simple. Well, all of this stuff in here, this is known as code. Or some people would call it source code. After we type out our source code, we have to compile that source code. Once we take the source code and compile it, the output is an executable program. This program is something that the computer can understand. In this series, we are going to learn how to write all of the code how to compile it, and how to make all kinds of super cool programs that can do all kinds of fascinating things. By the way, another name for a program would be software or an app or application. All of this is the foundation for software development, engineering, app development, all of that. Additionally, this is one topic inside of a subject known as computer science. And computer science is really the study of everything that we can do with stuff like this. By the end of this series, not only do I want you to know how to program in C, I want you to have a general understanding of computer science so that the knowledge learned here can flow into other programming languages and other areas of your life. This may all seem kind of overwhelming at first if you're a beginner. If that's the case, don't worry about it. In the next video, we are going to create our first program and then we are going to run that program and it'll do something fancy on our computer. At that point, you'll probably understand all of this. And when you get to the point of running your first application, it's a very satisfying feeling. So stick with it, guys. Don't quit. This is going to be a ton of fun. And by the end of the series, we are going to learn a lot of information. That is all for the introduction, but there's a couple other things that I wanted to mention. 
The first thing is that I took all the notes that I created to plan out the series and compiled it into one document, and that is downloadable on my website. I will put the link at the end of this video, and also check the description. The second thing is that if you want to support me and my channel, I really appreciate when you click like on the videos and ultimately subscribe to this channel. When you subscribe, you'll get notified of future videos, and that way it's easier for me to communicate with you and tell you that I have new content for you to consume. Hopefully by the end of this series you see the joy and excitement that you can find in computer science and programming, and hopefully you can write some cool apps in C. If you don't believe me that this stuff's fun, well wait to the end and you'll just have to see for yourself. <laughs> Alright guys, see you in the next one.